Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another commentary done by a diggity bottom left hand corner. We got exit starting as the light green, olive green, Terran bottom right hand corner. We got Spa starting as my heart's with Spa because <laughs> Spa is like uh, definitely like dad gamer doesn't have a lot of time to. I, he's better than I am, and I'm not that I'm not good. The, the exit is the heavy, heavy favorite in this match, by the way. Um, this is going to be on retro exit had uh i'm trying to remember who he dropped games to i know he dropped games to uh, he, he took out raz which actually he was surprised other people were surprised i'm actually not surprised i think um it was funny i felt like exit felt a little what's the word i think he underestimated himself at this tournament he definitely has not gotten to the point where his macro is strong as some of the top level players but at the same time, he is really, really strong in his own right. He's got really, really solid. Really, his troop movement is his strongest feature right this second. He's got really, really good troop movement. And his decision making as far as terrain is absolutely fantastic. And I think in time, if he's able to get the practice, uh, it's always the caveat. If he's able to get the practice in, the macro eventually will come. And then he's going to be a really fantastic aggressive Terran, I think, which is fun to see out in the field. Um, I feel like him and Mars are two uh, two guys I've really been keeping an eye on uh, and just trying to hear what they're up to in the North American scene as far as up and coming Terran uh, in that space. But um, Exit's getting there. Uh, and I think, yeah, a little bit, a little bit, uh, what do I want to say? A little bit too hard on himself, I think, as far as the field play. He was like, ah, I don't got the macro, but you know, and I'm like, you know, I, I actually had a chance to talk to him in the tournament and he's like, my macro is not as strong as these guys. I'm like, don't even worry about that, honestly, because you can take, honestly, he could take a lot of these games just doing kind of that aggressive mid game stuff because a lot of these guys, these guys cannot handle his aggressive mid game stuff uh, because it's really, it's stellar, honestly. Anyway, uh, Sva going for a front door seal. I'm not sure if the previous games was Sva, it's Sva out of practice or Sva, um, I'll, I'll chalk it up to that. Probably more out of practice than not. Uh, but exit, I would say, definitely the heavy favorite. He's going to go for a cross map spawn right this second. Going for a barracks a little bit closer. This looks like it's going to try to... Uh, we'll see if it ends up being a marine construction. It looks like he's going to go for barracks into expand. Spa going ahead and queuing up a marine upon spotting the base. But could have skipped the marine, actually, seeing that it was command center first. Maybe done it himself. Nice little bit of action right there. Forcing an SCV off the line. So delaying the command center and get a chase after this one as well. So another SCV going to be dedicated from exit. Exit now recognizing, okay, hey, something happening bottom right. And Sva pouring on the aggression and Marine making its way out. But going to encounter a Marine at closer location and a factory dropped very rapidly from Sva. So Sva going for early aggression, exit going for early economy. A little bit of damage done. Who gets the first shot? Nice little micro move there by Exit. Exit also has the SCV underneath to attack and got a little bit of additional damage on the SCV. So Sva going to go half, half the back up here. Bear, bunker being constructed. Exit running his way across. And Sva pulling some Marines to apply even more aggression. And got a couple free attacks. And this is before that bunker's finished. Doing things that really can. And now he's got the two Marine advantage. So bunker's going to complete. Now it's high ground advantage. Some SCVs pulling off the line opposite direction. Not able to disrupt the command center as of yet, but a decent amount of... I like this from Sva, actually. Sva creating some chaos. SCVs trying to repair the bunker. It looks like an SCV accidentally went in the bunker there for exit. So exit having some trouble now. And the Marine not able to get there. Was trying to make his way through. And now we have an offensive bunker from Sva. And Sva has actually done enough damage where he's actually ahead in workers. Command center still completes, though. The bunker being constructed. This is uh, Danger Town. Exit now pulling a lot of SCVs to mix it up down here on the low ground. Using the high ground advantage. Was able to kill the Marines that were trying to get in that bunker. Needs to get something other than an SCV in that bunker himself. So Sva, despite some early game uh, aggression, not able to make it happen. Now let's see. Is Sva going to turn around? Okay, he's got a Marine making its way across. But creating some chaos, at least here in the early game. Exit handling it. And now that bunker just feels sad. Doesn't even get shot at right now because it's not even a priority. A vulture making its way out to the front. Exit doesn't have the front door seal as of yet. Is now providing a little bit of a front door seal. And a nice blockade. But the vulture's still able to sneak in. And this is much, because of all that disruption, able to get in a lot earlier. And so now we've got a whole bunch of units. Yeah, Sva, actually, Exit might just want to leave. <laughs> exit the main. Start mining at that natural expansion for the short, short turn to try to negate a lot of this pressure. Second Marine going to go ahead and get in there and wait for his own Vulture to complete. But 
In the meantime, Spa actually ahead in workers. Unfortunately, after all this gets cleaned out, that's going to be a dead vulture because first shot was on uh, Exit's part. But unfortunately for him, he hasn't dropped a command center behind this. So this isn't turned into a kill blow or an advantage. More vultures trying to make their way across, trying to blockade. They're going into the natural expansion. And now Exit going to go ahead and flip direction. So continual mining delays. This vulture going to hold the front and Sva still maintaining the the macro lead by the way in the space of this so creating a good amount of chaos to put himself in a good position still hasn't man and uh, this is smart on exit's part go ahead and lift that barracks and get it into a better position to try to blockade those out uh waiting on an a siege tank to go ahead and also using the SCVs to go ahead and blockade that front so now and he hasn't queued up okay now queuing up some SCVs there at the natural expansion waiting on that siege tank so some nice shenanigans here early. Oh, look at this, a Wraith and Vulture and Cloak behind in the midst of this. So Sva throwing out all the tricks now. And it's gonna be up to Exit to hold on here. So Vultures get cleaned up at the natural expansion. Sva with a three worker lead right this second. But he's got Wraith coming and there's very little anti-air out for Exit right this second. So maybe he can drop Exit out of here. We'll see, Cloak upgrading, we don't have any any detection we do have uh armory being built from exit is he gonna have the the he needs to get some scouting information out here is he gonna have the wherewithal to recognize that he needs to get some sort of form of detection to deal with sva so sva still just gonna try to win it on what i'm gonna call antics antics here two additional vultures getting built a bunker being built on the front a single siege tank moving its way across Kind of a risky unit to go scouting with. Second siege tank out on the front. Okay, we got the armory a little bit just about complete. Going to kill that initial marine. Okay, marine gets in the bunker. That's going to turn an exit around, but he wasn't. He hasn't confirmed that natural expansion. Does Fa hide the wraith, though? Did exit see the wraith? I think exit sees the wraith as they're coming across. Immediately drops an academy. Now, does Fa have the wherewithal to target that SCV building the academy? And he also needs, it would be a good idea to go ahead and build an engineering bay. And I like what Exit's doing. He's recognizing these are not anti-air units. So let's just make the way out there and try to get as much damage with them as possible. So Supply Depot stymied. More economic, actually cancel of the academy from Sva, or sorry, from Exit. Exit's had enough. And it looks like, is he just going to go for the full-on attack here? Trying to get an engineering bay up at the natural expansion and tr spread things out. Now dropping the academy down underneath. The vultures, however, making their way across. And the wraith do not kill siege tanks very rapidly. These ra uh, these uh, vultures going to be able to kill anything that gets built out of here. And there's going to be a lot of SCV kills on Sva side of the map, opposite corner. So the wraith cloak trying to do what they can. Uh, Goliath was able to get some damage done out this direction. But now it's just, a well, okay, a single wraith making its way. Siege tank down. Some additional SCV kills. Spa actually way ahead on workers has really done a good job uh, backering the space of this. But still, if he doesn't, if he's not able to get some additional stuff done, could be a bad situation. So that academy's canceled. <laughs> we got all sorts of craziness here. Siege tank's just walking its way up now for exit to try to do as much economic damage as possible and force the Wraith to stay back. He's getting the Goliath range, producing... He's got at least a Goliath, some missile turrets now at his natural expansion, so at least he can keep mining. This Goliath, I don't know if that was rallied or it's just making its way up to deal with the Wraith. Uh, SCV now pulling off the line. Exit just in economic shambles, but he does have two bases to recover. Keep in mind that command center... Okay, we got an academy that can be built at the very least here, and these Wraith walking into their doom... This is like a, this is some insane pro league stuff happening right here. Siege tank heavily damaged. Sva built an additional command center up on the high ground. Unfortunately, engaging this Goliath without cloak at the natural. And so taking some additional damage on these rates, they're just absolute. They're, uh, they, uh, what are, they're like that soft rotten peach where you just kind of like touch it and it falls apart. That was uh, the worst metaphor I think I've ever come up with. But now CompSat stations up. Sva. Uh, has done considerable economic damage. He's got his own natural expansion up, which means if he stays on top of the macro and is able to inflict more damage, he might still be in this and might actually be able to close things out. He might want to drop a second factory, get... Yeah, okay, he's got that second factory, get two machine shops up. Exits in full uh, emergency recovery mode right here. He's got two bases. At least he's got some anti-air to go with, but 
yeah, amazing play here from Sva. I love seeing it, actually. And this is, I like it in a tournament situation as well. He's like, we're just going to create chaos and <laughs> make things happen from there. And that is precisely what he did here, showing some good stuff. So Armory, Armory's up. So in theory, Exit could get to plus one weapons a little bit earlier, but the economic advantage, certainly in Sva's favor, as long as he is able to stay on top of macro and utilize it. His game to lose right this second. Siege Tank getting some free shots there at the Goliaths. Up on the high ground, by the way. Second factory drop from Exit. Just sitting back, looking to macro. He does need to get to his own siege tanks out because if if uh, history holds true, Sva starts making his way out with his own siege tanks and siege check. That could be a game-winning maneuver right now. The Goliath's wandering way... Okay, how did he know they were up here? Keep in mind, this is at a tournament land, so there's no way that was Axe. Uh, able to find, just predict that the Wraith were going to be in that upper corner. Pick a few of them off. I'm going to blockade that third to make sure Sva's not able to get an even further economic lead here. We do have Siege Check. So four factory Siege Check on the turn round. And Exit making his way out. There is a Siege Tank here to the south. That Wraith, I don't think, is going to get a lot accomplished now here at this natural expansion. And is Exit just going to try to plop down an additional base here at the 6 o'clock? That would be very, very risky. Sva, double the workers overall. Comsat checking that natural. This is not enough Goliaths to really fight here does get a siege tank i don't know that he's going to get a lot else out of this and mass repair on that siege tank on top of everything else not at close position not with scv support but i like what exit's doing a supply depot Sva doing the same antics opposite corner guarding the nine o'clock and going ahead and dropping top left to make sure that his opponent isn't able to sneak additional stuff out there the scv pinned unfortunately revealing a kind of betrayal revealing to that uh location right there but exit getting aggressive he's actually closed the gap to 10 the supply block right the second he's going up to four factories so this might turn into a turnaround macro versus turnaround macro siege check oh siege check doing a whiff there on the high ground because of the misfire exit with the high ground right the second the s really trying to bully in and he's got a drop ship a drop ship out of nowhere not what i was expecting from spa to try to breach the six o'clock for some reason really wanting uh, and a couple of units there still at the nine o'clock chaos absolutely everywhere a marine being built out of the barracks to check out top right and Sva right now a little bit overproduced honestly and he's got a lot of idle SAVs on two bases he does need to secure a third he's gone up to five factories double machine shop down in a fifth factory getting teched on from exit behind this SAVs piling in with siege tanks on the low ground to try to evict this location. A dropship moving in with vultures, however, to the main. And does Exit have... He's going to have to wait. Yeah, the siege tank having to come all the way back. Unfortunately, they're working on the academy, not diving in. Okay, now they're making their way in to the SCVs. The SCVs, are they going to be able to get out of here? Single siege tank will eventually clean this up, but Spa getting continue damage here. More mines dropping along that corner. Vultures spawning just in the nick of time. And a comsat to go ahead and clear that mine out. Dropship's going to be able to exit. And tank, unfortunately, sieging at the exact wrong moment for exit here at the 6 o'clock location. Spa with a considerable supply lead. But keep in mind, a good portion of that is in SCVs. SCVs that are honestly, uh, they're contributing some to his economy right now, but not, not contributing as much as they should. Um... A bit of dead weight. And it's also a single machine shop instead of a double machine shop, which means there's more siege tanks coming out here from exit. And in TVT, at the end of the day, it does come down to spear siege tank counts. Sva has secured the 6 o'clock location, but exit is pile driving towards that natural expansion with, honestly, a more formidable attack force. And I think he's, he's going to have plus one weapons done a little bit faster. Vultures fighting vultures here outside here. Tanks trying to siege up. Nice snipe on a couple of these siege tanks. The vultures... Look like they might be able to get underneath and clear some of these, clear these siege tanks up, though. M nice mine plan. Nice mine sniping, though, by exit as well. Single SCV there, able to clear that out. And Sva with that defense and getting up to six. This is completely different Sva from the uh, Art of Turtle game, by the way. He's now playing uh, ferociously and well, I will say. Speed being upgraded in the space of this. we got another Wraith being now produced from exit to provide some spotting. Six o'clock base is procured in Sva. And Sva's corner. Um, these two mines still here. This is more Wraith. Yeah, more Wraith queued up opposite side. This has turned into a very feisty bloody bath exit. Now getting denied at the 9 o'clock. 
He's been at an economic deficit the entire game, has closed the SCV count. This is about the SCV count at max you want on two bases. So we'll see if he plays a little bit conservatively. But in the meantime, Svaz got that six o'clock base up and is well saturated across three bases. He can go ahead and tack on some additional factories. He does, he does have that second machine shop up. Plus with weapons is finished for both players. And yeah, Sva and keep in mind, this is best of one. So whoever wins this is advancing across the lower bracket and whoever loses this is out. Supply counts dangerously close for both players. Uh, exit is down in supply, but that's a little bit negated as far as ground army. If you keep in mind uh, the overall worker count, the problem for his exit though, is he needs to make moves. He needs to secure a third base for himself. Otherwise, if things continue, Sva is just gonna have a death throttle as far as the economic production output. The problem for Sva though, is despite securing three bases, he's still sitting on five factories. Um, third machine shop getting dropped from Exit. No third base as of yet. I think Exit just wanting to go for the pile drive maneuver rather than try to play the economic maneuver. Cloaked Wraith evicting some of the troops here outside the natural expansion. Another dropship making its way in. Sva, relentless with the attacks this game. That's gonna draw a lot of this attack force back. And not enough anti-air. Okay, we have two Goliaths here. Exit having trouble engaging on two locations. Just going to wait for the reinforcements to try to engage. He's got enough cruft in the way, honestly. But one prize piece could be to take out that armory. He doesn't mind losing the academy at all. Goliath getting a little bit out of position. Doesn't look like... So the academy might be the only loss here. So honestly, Exit may be getting the better part of this exchange in this drop overall. Yeah, Siege Shank's going to get cleared up. And didn't get a massive amount of troops. Exit with a little bit. So, okay, we got a bit of a siege shank line here out of the natural. Nine o'clock base getting interrupted once again. Wraith dying as it comes across. 21 supply lead still here for Sva. It looks like those Wraith going to get wiped out. But Exit finding a pocket where there just wasn't sufficient defense. Able to sneak in underneath to the six o'clock location. This will even things up economically if he holds. And Sva taking a bad battle, honestly, here at the six o'clock, attacking uphill against at least even probably superior attack forces. As he's pulling off the line, the vultures there to help deal with it and counterattack. The siege shakes getting a bit distracted though and not attacking on the low ground for exit. So does Sva defend? If even if he does defend though, the worker count is now even, and that six o'clock has been shut down. Exit making his way back up with another attack force to grab the 9 o'clock. With that, things have swung towards Exit's favor for the first time. Supply counts are even. 17 minute mark. Look for... This actually might be a deficit for Spa because... Well, actually, never mind. Looks like the minerals are still healthy on both ends. Because of all the distractionary stuff that happened earlier. Spa able to just pile drive his way into the 6 o'clock. To get troops back in position, he needs to resaturate that base immediately. Another supply depot blocking top left, by the way. We have another command center on the way. This base unsaturated in between. Supply counts even. Exit. Boxed out. Goliath trying to clear some mines. Just going to go ahead and donate the lives. Now the, that base looks like it is getting resaturated very, very rapidly. And the defensive line getting shored up. Exit testing the natural expansion. Single siege tank looks like it's waiting out there. Not a lot of defensive uh, defenses otherwise. Sva making his way back out to reprocure some of this land. That command center building its way back up. There's still these mines, by the way, out in the field. I've been waiting for a couple additional factories now getting dropped from Sva to maintain uh, the macro advantage. Command center looks like it. We'll see if it gets repaired in the space of this. Ooh. Exit donating a few siege tanks. Didn't comp sat while he's walking in. Instead, set, setting up an additional siege tank line. It is Fa's game to lose right here. Exit a little bit ahead on workers. Sva with the supply lead, however, overall. He... A single wraith there at the 3 o'clock location that I think Sva should be able to procure that 3 o'clock location much more rapidly than Exit's going to be able to grab his fourth. Vultures, however, for Exit clearing in, trying to deny that base, doing a successful job of doing so some goliaths trying to make their way up nice comsat on the way up to go ahead and try to clear some mines unfortunately they're attack moving that barracks rather than making their way in a wraith a lone wraith for exit gonna get wiped out as it was able to sneak in so <coughs> spa maintaining the economic lead the goliaths having some trouble think they were on a move command 
Lucky they didn't end up losing more. Okay, one of them dies. And unfortunately, having that Goliath bug where it's not a bug. If you attack, if you move another enemy into the attack sphere when there's a mine down, the Goliath will change its attack away from the mine to whatever that enemy is. We have a missile turret down at the 12 o'clock location just to kind of spot that supply depot for exit. Exit making his way in and Spot trying to sneak a command center top right worried about exit grabbing additional base and it looks like spa had too much here at the six o'clock to defend so exit going to be able to punch through near that natural expansion and comms adding to confirm that it is in fact an open walk all the way spa has some siege tanks there at the three o'clock but now there's a solid wedge for exit between the natural and a, what would have potentially been a fourth although exit walking some siege tanks in here for free with a little bit of that troop control Vultures that were able to get on the other side gonna make the 12 o'clock base to at least deny there exit starting to saturate That nine o'clock base Mind out at the main. Oh, Svan needs to get these SCV active ASAP This is where it's gonna be a little bit more beneficial for exit taking that damage in the early game Although his natural expansions mind out again because of that shift in minerals some vultures are making the way out to go potentially Okay, he's gonna build a command center on point. That's a little bit late. We got two siege, two siege tanks out So another SCV is gonna have to wander up there. This is kind of the big story here though Svan needs to figure out a way to break through this so he can feel safe going ahead and this is interesting though he's got this base up but the question is, is how do you get SCVs up there when you got the siege tanks in between more SCVs making the way out I presume to go ahead and secure top left this is a wild one about as wild as you see supply counts even now cloaked rate making its way out so exit potentially needs to seed that right hand side contain more vultures streaming their way that direction a counter wraith making its way up plus two weapons by the way plus two weapons plus two arm in the opposite side exit skipping the armory so at least as far as the vulture and goliath fights uh little, a slight advantage also in the length of time it takes a wraith to wipe out what's here and unfortunately for Svoth, choosing the, the exact wrong moment to move into exit to try to counter just as exits reinforcements made their way up and trying to unseat from the low ground gonna end up losing those troops at the three o'clock location exit now with a 10 supply lead and a superior scv count has equalized things a bit found the top right as well which is devastating Sva was counting on that as far as a turnaround so now Sva has the problem where at a deficit needs to push through the siege tank lines here at the three o'clock to maybe go for that three o'clock base S yeah he has to be a little bit concerned about floods in here the six o'clock as well since that's still an active base for him we still have a wraith at least slowly picking away at the three o'clock not a lot of energy left on that cloak though and we do have a goliath waiting nearby was able to take a siege tank so it is a hero for the cause hold your hold your horses there command center finishing now top left so exit now going to be able to set as soon as he's running out of resources here bottom left going to be able to saturate top left which will put him at an economic advantage he's got a lot of factories out in the space of this as well and still holding mid map so all of a sudden spa despite being ahead for large portions of this match is blockaded into just three bases is going to end up losing top right or at least not able to procure it is trying to send out an attack force across the six o'clock but there's siege tanks waiting and exits reinforcements going to be able to dive on that rapidly and what that might do is that might also open up a counterattack. actually spot recognizing he's just going to get overrun wow what a crazy one i like spot's play here though i like the aggression that looks so much better than the art of turtle games holy cow hope you guys enjoyed it really fun one thank you guys for listening uh unfortunately Safa dropped out of the tournament as a result of this exit will continue through the lower bracket hope you guys enjoyed it though thank you for listening